hey everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well today's video is a look into my jewelry collection and i thought i would actually focus on one brand in particular so in this video i'm going to share with you my monica vinader jewelry collection the pieces that i have from monica vinader are honestly pieces that i've had within my jewelry collection for years so i feel like i can really give you a good review of the brand and their jewelry pieces because it really is a brand that i have invested in so much over the years and just a brand that I really love to wear and style. So I really wanted to put together a video featuring my Monica Vinader collection. I'm not working with the brand or anything like that. This isn't sponsored. It was completely my idea to put together this video, but I did actually cheekily ask if I could have a discount code to share with you. And Monica Vinader were absolutely amazing and gave me an exclusive 20% off for their website, which is so good. I'm so happy that I was able to get this discount code for you. So basically you can purchase whatever you want on the Monica Vinader website. It can be these pieces that I share with you in the video today, or it can be something that maybe is on your wish list or something that has previously caught your eye. You can purchase that with 20% off. The prices really range on Monica Vinader depending on the pieces. So you can really get a lot of money off with this offer. I will leave my discount code on the screen now, but it will also be in the description box down below. So if you do want to make the most of that discount code, all you have to do is use my special links. So they are in the description box down below just click the show more I will have a link to the Monica Vinada website so you can have a browse and also to the individual pieces that I share within this video as well so if something that I've shared caught your eye and maybe you'd like to purchase that as well you will have the links to all of the items as well I'll start off by talking through my rings I'm wearing my full Monica Vinada collection of rings here so I have four in total to be honest with you rings are probably the latest edition within my jewelry collection. I wasn't really a big fan of rings. I wasn't really too into rings. I think I have really like long and like not very nice hands basically. So I always thought that rings kind of accentuated that but I don't care anymore. I'm actually really enjoying rings at the moment and now if I ever leave without a ring on I almost feel like my hands look so bare and look so weird. So I'm really loving rings at the moment. So let's start off with this hand. Here I have on the signature ring. So Monica Vinader have a full signature collection. It's basically a linear design. I don't know how well you'll be able to see from me just holding up the ring but I have done close-ups of all of these items so you can see exactly how they look on me. This is their signature ring they also do signature bangles and they do them with a thicker band and also a thinner band like I have here I really like it I like how unusual it looks I like the design of this I think it looks quite art deco which I really like but it's still very much a classic piece I don't think it looks weird or out of place or anything and particularly on you almost don't notice that it's got that linear structural detail there because of the little dips on the side it's just a really beautiful item of jewelry and i really adore this one i think it looks a little bit different and it's just a bit more special i think that's the only ring i have on this hand so on to my next hand here i've got three different rings and actually in the middle i've got two of their siren stacking rings so these are part of their siren collection they have various different stones that you can get in these stacking rings but the one i have on both of them is the moonstone which is this beautiful kind of gray white stone i will say that the little one is definitely a little bit duller now but i've had it for such a long time it probably just needs a bit of a polish but i just think that the smaller one is less of a statement whereas the larger moonstone ring does make more of a statement because obviously the stone and the shine it's all just a little bit bigger but i really love stacking the two of these together and as I said this one is in the moonstone but they have other stones as well they have a kyanite is that I'm not quite sure if that's how it's pronounced but that's a really beautiful blue stone they also have a green onyx which is probably my favorite actually I really really love the green onyx that Monica Vinader does I think it's absolutely beautiful and then finally they have pink quartz as well which as the name would suggest is a beautiful pinky color and you can have all of these in 
gold, rose gold or silver finish and it just means that they will integrate really seamlessly into your collection whatever metal you prefer to use and whichever colours you love. And last up from my ring collection from Monica Vidida, this is the Nura Teardrop Eternity Ring. This is very beautiful, it's actually really quite simple, I'd say that's what I really love about this ring, you can obviously wear it on its own like I've done here but you can also use it to add to other rings in your collection to wear it as more of a stacking ring and really transform the look of some of your other more plain and simple rings. That's what I really love about this one. The last thing I want to say about the rings is obviously how well they do and how well they fare. When it comes to washing hands and things like that, I don't often go through the hassle of removing all of my rings when I'm doing that and as we all know that can be quite damaging for rings and for the colour it can actually make them tarnish quite quickly but honestly I do not have that issue with Monica Vinader. These four on this hand are still absolutely perfect and I've had them all for at least a year. The signature ring is the one that I've had for longest in my collection and I won't lie to you you can definitely tell it has sort of started to tarnish on the edges in particular which I just think comes from general wear washing hands and all that sort of thing but Monica Vinader are really good with that actually they have a five year warranty so from when you buy your jewellery up to five years after they will essentially repair any damaged jewellery for free for you it's a really great thing that Monica Vinader does actually and it's very easy I've actually used this service in the past from Monica Vinader for one of my bracelets which I will show you in a second so I guess it probably makes sense for us to move on to the bracelets now doesn't it now that I've spoken about them so I have their friend bracelets which were the ones that probably introduced me to Monica Vinader actually these were the pieces that I first got ever in my Monica jewelry collection they've always been friendship bracelets I think the two that I have are no longer available on Monica Vinader. I just don't think they do the style of bracelet anymore because they are a good few years old they do still do lots of different friendship bracelets but they're just a bit more maybe a bit more classic I would say in their design compared to these ones that I have but I really really love them and I mean you know that I wear this one literally every single day I don't take it off. The friendship collection is on a rope bracelet rather than being a clasp or anything like that it's actually on a rope bracelet which you can then adjust to obviously fit you. So this is the first one I have and it was part of a collection that I believe was called the linear collection. So this was their beaded linear collection and as you can tell it's just got five beads there. I actually got this one engraved so the middle bead has a heart engraving which is super cute and then on the inside I also got this engraved with mine and my boyfriend's initials and then heart eye emojis in the middle. I just thought it was so cool that you could get an emoji engraved onto there and it's done in a really beautiful way like don't think you've got a bright yellow emoji stuck on there like not at all it's engraved in the bead really beautifully and I love that Monica Vinader offer this you can get free engraving on almost all Monica Vinader items a lot of their collections and a lot of their pieces are able to be engraved and they do this completely for free if that's what you want and then the other one I have is also from their linear collection but as you can tell rather than having the round beads this one has kind of like longer beads I suppose sort of like rectangles different lengths and different sizes but they just go all the way around this could also be engraved I didn't get this one engraved and usually what I do with the rope is just knot it over itself because it can be a little bit long as you can see I have quite small wrists and rather than having this kind of excess sort of flapping about what I do is usually just roll it in like that which has been fab and lastly the final bracelet I have in my collection is actually from the Doina collaboration with Monica Vinader so Doina has collaborated a few times with Monica Vinader to create really beautiful jewellery items and this was part of one of the collections so this is the chain bracelet I'm pretty sure there's also a necklace version of this and some other items within this same collection and I got the bracelet which is beautiful the thing I really love about this one is number one the chain I think it looks really great and also the clasp detail I think it looks really cool and really unusual so you can probably tell when I've got this on in the cutaways that it's definitely looser it's definitely one of those that is just gonna 
do its own thing you know it's not going to stay so securely in place as my friendship bracelets are so usually when i wear this one i like to wear it on the wrist with my watch and usually in front of my watch because then what that means is that it will sort of fall elegantly on my wrist and also with this kind of clasp detail something else you can do with this is actually buy some of the pendants which you can then pop there and wear it on your bracelet to kind of accessorize your bracelet as well let's move on to necklaces next and before i talk through the one that i'm wearing right now i thought i would quickly mention this chain because this chain is also from the Doina collection. This necklace is called the Doina Snake Chain. I really love wearing this one with jumpers because I think that chunkier jewelry and chunkier necklaces always look nice paired over jumpers just so that you can still see them and they still sort of make a statement. So that's what I really love about this one. It's got the same type of clasp as the bracelet does and this is the Cast Keshi Pearl Pendant. I may have pronounced that wrong but essentially it's meant to be sort of like the cast of a like smashed pearl and I just think it looks really beautiful coated in gold it's so stunning it just it just adds a little something extra to this necklace it really is a beautiful necklace but as I said you can easily remove the pendant and then you can add it onto different things for example I could add this pendant to my bracelet if I wanted to you can really change things up you can also change this pendant onto a more classic necklace so for example like this one which is slightly thinner and not so big and detailed as this one is. So let's talk about my pearl necklace now. And this pendant you can add onto any sort of chain you want to. So this is actually the one that it's styled with on the website which is the vintage chain necklace. And I just think it looks really pretty. So this is one that I have got a lot of wear out of throughout the summer months. And still now, you know, we are going into autumn but I'm still loving wearing and styling it. It's very chic and very classic. From one pearl necklace to another, this one is is obviously way more like big and statement compared to this one that I'm wearing now. So firstly, I'll talk about the pendant. This is the Dea pendant. It's really beautiful. Once again, you can remove it, you can add it to different chains, you can add it to bracelets, earrings, whatever you desire, but it's so stunning. It's obviously much larger than the one that I'm wearing now, but it's larger but flat. This chain is one that I adore. It's sort of like interlinking chains and then once again it's got the round clasp which is where the pendant is tied onto but I cannot find this chain on the Monica Vinita website anymore. I don't know if it was limited edition, I don't know if it was just a collection that they sort of dropped or I just don't really know much about it. I know that I was looking for it, couldn't find it anymore, which really broke my heart because I do really love it. Nonetheless, they do have so many other necklace styles and necklace designs on their website, so I'm sure you'll find something that could easily replace this one. Onto another chunky necklace, this is the Alter Charm necklace. This is part of their outer collection. They have earrings, they have bracelets, and they of course have necklaces. This is definitely one of my most expensive items from Monica Villada, but honestly, I think it's excellent exceptional. This is what really sort of swung me over to this brand and what really made me fall in love with it. So this is their Alter Charm necklace, as I said. And the thing is with this is that you can really transform it and change it to suit you, to suit your outfit. You can change it into so many different pieces. All of these little chain links are interlinking. So you can literally untie them wherever you want to. You can wear them as the classic necklace. You can shorten them, for example, like I've done here. So this would then look like a bit of a choker necklace with this little section falling down or you could remove all of these chains and have it just as a choker. One summer I even removed I mean almost half of it and ended up wearing it as a bracelet. Honestly you can do so much with this piece. You can really really transform it in so many different ways. You can also add charms to the different links as well. Not every single link opens like I'm sure there are a few there that don't have openings but the vast majority like all of these falling down here have links in them so you can literally have this with so many different charms and you can have a huge charm necklace or charm bracelet if you get the bracelet version and I just think it's a really beautiful piece because of how versatile it is and because of how much you can change it and I think it's definitely worth the price it is one of my most worn necklaces from Monica Vinader hands down just over the years it's timeless and still quite classic yet a statement or one of my all-time favorite items from Monica Vinader and then this pendant charm which if you have been on my channel following me a subscriber literally anything you have probably seen this on me it was easily the only necklace I wore for about 
two years maybe like I wore this so much to the point that I was like oh my gosh I have to start wearing something different because I've literally worn this every single day I adore this so this pendant is called the Marie pendant this is the larger size they also do a smaller size now which is quite cute this pendant charm is actually quite large but that's what I loved about it like it made enough of a statement on its own but it also made a statement over jumpers and over my knitwear throughout autumn and winter as well which is why I loved wearing this literally for years throughout all of the seasons it was just absolutely perfect I have this on a beaded chain which Monica Vinader also do on their website but as I said you can change it up I mean I could remove the pearl from here and pop this chain here I could pop this onto my outer necklace honestly you can mix and match so much with all of these Monica Vinader jewelry pieces but yeah this one honestly it holds such a little like place in my heart and as I said I literally wore this for like two years every single day on off on off on off and it looks as good as new the pendant literally hasn't tarnished in any way it could do a bit of a polish to bring back some of its original shine but it's not tarnished there's no losing of color it's not peeling anywhere it honestly still looks brand new and so finally i was actually almost forgetting about this and it's earrings i've actually worn the majority of them which is why i don't have any in front of me so i was kind of forgetting this category so first up are of course my hoop earrings these are the fiji large hoop earrings for being the size large they are actually quite small in my opinion i would actually call this more of a medium sized hoop i love my hoops i have so many hoop earrings so i really do have a love for them and i have to say that this size i would definitely call more of a medium as opposed to a large but i think it's perfect it's the perfect kind of thin hoop earring just really classic i really love these i wear these a lot i probably wear them five out of seven days during the week they're just really great classics and they go with so many different outfits absolutely adore them and then i also have my mini studs so i actually got my ears pierced at monica vinader they now do piercings in some of their stores in the uk but also around the world as well i'm pretty sure they have piercing stations all around the world and so that's where i got my second ear pierced and this is what i went for so this is their mini stud earrings they do these in different stone finishes as well this is the green onyx which i adore i was telling you green onyx is my favorite Favorite finish from Monica Vinader. I actually haven't worn these in quite some time to be honest with you but now that I've just put them on again for this video they're probably going to stay on because oh, it's just beautiful. I love the colour. I don't know if it's potentially been since their piercing studio that they've introduced more earring options but I am absolutely loving the fact that they now do cuffs. So this one that I'm wearing is their Corda ear cuff and actually the name kind of translates into rope so that's exactly what this looks like. It's got the design detail of a rope effect there i think it's really simple and quite subtle but looks really nice paired with my fiji earrings as well just the whole thing looks really nice paired together i love the gold that monica vinader do i just think it's the perfect shade of gold and obviously when you're buying multiple pieces of jewelry from the same brand in the same finish it means that you won't have any issues with matching the colors and that's a look at my jewelry collection from monica vinader i really hope that you enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing a deeper look in to my collection from the brand as i mentioned at the start of this video they have kindly offered me a 20 percent off code for you that you can use on their website for any pieces whether it be something that i've already shared in this video something that's on your wish list or if you go and browse the monica vinader website after this video maybe something will catch your eye and you can bag it with 20 percent off so make sure you open up the description box where all the information will be there on to how to use the discount code and how to shop on monica vinader to get your 20% off your purchase. A very big thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you're new around here and I will see you all soon. Bye!